Hey guys, this is Sakib. Welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we have the category carousel widget on display. This widget is brought to you by the Ultimate Post Kit and we will show you what it is and how to customize it. The category carousel widget displays your post categories with live numbers and here you can attach backgrounds to the individual categories. You can see a hover effect whenever you go over the category items. The style can be different while the navigation is customizable so you can easily change them to dots. Not just that, the widgets can help you to create layouts with an appearance above the level. Then again, you can hide the post counts in the category items normally and only show them in the hover mode. Making such interactive carousels is easy when you have the category carousel widget. This does not stop here. If you want to create a post carousel gallery, that is also possible with it and you can display the whole lines of posts with an expanding navigation system. Now it's time to show you the backend customizations. First, drag and drop the widget inside the editor page. Here you will see the default version of the widget. From the layout, you can switch the layout skin from the provided 5 styles. Take your time to switch the skins and see how it appears visually. Then you can choose the number of columns to distribute the carousel items. Right below, you can change the spacing between the items through the item gap scrollbar. You'll also have an item height option to adjust their total height on the page. And last, the image size can be changed with the option here. From the query, you can customize the item shorting options of your free will. There are two fields at the bottom, exclude and parent. We are going to the dashboard to see our listed categories. Take note of the sports parent category. Now copy the category ID and paste it in the parent field. See how the carousel changed to display post belonging to the selected category. Next is the additional section that has four switchers presented here to show or hide certain elements from the display. Those elements are image, count, text, and item match height. There is a count level field to customize the count text. For instance, turning off the count switcher will make the option vanish for the carousel. For navigation, we provide a bunch of options to choose from. You can also choose none to disable the navigation Let's skip the arrows, then customize the position of the arrows. You can choose to show an additional scroll bar too. For the arrow icon, there are a whopping 23 unique arrowhead styles available. Let's select a random one, that looks nice. Next, the carousel settings holds all the animation controls for the widget. Here you can change the carousel direction to vertical from the default horizontal style. Let's switch back. The rest of the settings include layout, autoplay, loop, animation style, etc. Now moving on to the style tab. From the first section here, you can change the hover overlay color to something suitable. Let's go back and then reduce the opacity to make it into a semi-transparent window. There are a lot more options here. Take your time using them to customize the carousel more. Now go to the navigation section. Let's choose black for the background color and white for the icon. Then add some values in the border radius to curve the edges a bit. After that, add values to the padding field to add more space around the arrows. 
Then turn off the link and reduce the top and bottom values one by one. Now you can use the size scroll bar to change the arrow size. Changing the size will preserve the padding settings as well. And last, you can adjust the offset value to properly spread the arrows over your target content. Sweet! Now take a break and see how easily you can create a functional post gallery using the category carousel widget. Thanks for enjoying this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to check out Ultimate Post Kit if you know nothing about it. See you next time.